To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon. Friends, we understood the concept of marked application. Now let us understand how this marked application works in case of underwriting of shares. One thing, if there is a single underwriter and if the entire issue is underwritten, there is no need of using marked applications or unmarked application. It is relevant only if it is either a partial underwriting or there is a joint underwriting. Let us take the example of our company A Limited which has issued 10,000 shares. Out of these 10,000 shares, X has underwritten 6,000 shares. Out of these 10,000 shares, X has underwritten 6,000 shares. At the end of the issue, the company got applications for 11,000 shares. So we issued 10,000, the public liked our company and the public has given applications for 11,000 shares. Out of these 11,000, 5,000 were marked application and the balance 6,000 were unmarked application. What was X commitment? X commitment was for 6,000 shares. How much did we get as marked application? 5,000 shares. Can we tell that X has a further liability of 1,000 shares? No, because the issue is already oversubscribed. So there is no further liability on the part of X. But how do we logically look at this issue? The total issue made by us was for 10,000 shares, out of which we got 6,000 shares as marked application. What is the shortfall? The shortfall is for 10,000 minus 6,000, 4,000 is the shortfall. Out of this 4,000 balance, how much did we get as marked application from X? We got a total of 5,000 shares as marked application from X. We needed 4,000, we got 5,000. So there is no shortfall in this case. Hence, X does not have any further liability in this case when the issue has been oversubscribed. Let us make some changes to the examples we discussed earlier and understand this concept a bit more in detail. The company has issued 10,000 shares out of which 6,000 have been underwritten by X. The public subscribed for 9,000 shares in total, out of which 4,000 were marked application and 5,000 were unmarked application, which means the application which, which had the marking of X, the underwriter are 4,000 and the balance shares are unmarked application. Now, can we say that since X had agreed to underwrite 6,000 shares and we have received only 4,000 marked application, the liability of X is 2,000? No, it is too quick to conclude that. Because if X will add further 2,000 shares, we will have a total of 11,000 shares. Then how do we tackle with this issue? The out of the 10,000 shares which were issued to the public, how, what is the number of unmarked application? Unmarked application is 5,000. If I remove 5,000 from 10,000, the gross liability of X, the gross liability of X will become 5,000. How much has X underwritten? 6,000. So X must ensure that these 5,000 shares are filled up. How many marked application we got? We got a total of marked application 4,000. 5,000 minus 4,000, 1,000 is the net liability of X. So X has to subscribe for 1000 shares in this case. Now how does the math work? Out of 10,000 shares, 4000 is marked application plus 5000 unmarked application plus 1000 of liability of X. So total becomes 10,000. 10,000, 10,000 it matches. Friends, let us do a small change to the problem we discussed earlier and see how it can be applied in this case. The company has made an issue for 10,000 shares. This is the total issue size. Out of this 10,000 shares, X has underwritten 6,000 shares. X has underwritten 6,000 shares. After the issue is completed, the company realized that it has got applications for application received for 9,000 shares. Out of these 9,000 shares, 7,000 was 
marked and 2000 is unmarked 7000 is marked and 2000 is unmarked now there is a shortfall of 1000 shares will x be liable to take that 1000 shares look at it no because x had committed only for 6000 shares and the marked application which the company has received is already 7000 shares which means x gave 1000 more shares than what it had committed so x will not have any further liability in this case how do we look at it from logically total issue size is 10000 unmarked application is 2000 so the shortfall becomes 8000 now we understood that because x has given a commitment only for 6000 shares it is not responsible to subscribe for the additional 2000 shares because it committed 6000 it gave 7000 so there is no further liability on account of x friends our company a limited had issued 1 crore shares to the public now say for example the employees the directors and all those people who are related who are internal to the company they approached the management and said out of these 1 crore shares we are willing to take 1 lakh shares out of 1 crore shares we they are willing to take 1 lakh shares now if 1 lakh shares are being issued to employees and directors how many shares will be issued to public the public the company will issue only 99 lakh shares to the public in such a case the guidelines are very clear that the underwriting commission should be paid only on this 99 lakh shares which has been issued to public the commission the portion which is issue, which is not issued to the public on such portion underwriting commission is not payable